Hey everyone, it's me, it's Jeremy, what's up TikTok? It's Solar Eclipse Day and it's over. The solar eclipse is over, guys. Um, they are spraying these skies so heavily right now. All over, and I'm seeing all sorts of towns posting this. I'm in, I'm in southern Illinois, and I'll flip this camera real quick, and I'll show you what's going on here. Give me a second. All right, guys. Look at that. Look at that. They're already blocking it out. Already blocking it out. They've been going back and forth all morning long. You can follow it. You can see it everywhere. They're not going to stop. And I'm getting these reports from all over. You can see it all there back in the distance above the tree lines. Zooming in a little bit for you. That's what we're up against, guys. So, do they really want you to look at it? Do they really want you to look at it for all you people that were afraid? So, yeah, guys. We got a few more hours before I'm supposed to have the eclipse in my time. I think it was scheduled for about 2 o'clock. If they keep this up, there's going to be nothing. There's going to be nothing to see. And that's the problem. What is it they do not want you to see? For everyone who has been following this spraying in the sky and always thinking it's only about poisoning, I have always said they were already doing that ground level in your water, in your food, in your medicines. Why did they need to put themselves in a visible way to draw attention to themselves to poison you? What is it they're hiding? What is it they're hiding? What is it they're blocking? Is it just energy? Is it just frequency? Is it planetary objects? That's the question you need to ask yourself. So there it is, guys. 2024, April 8th eclipse, starting off just as we expected with the BS in the skies, guys. It just, it frustrates me. It frustrates me that we still have to explain this stuff. It frustrates me that people still don't get it. It frustrates me that people can't get past the obvious and start getting into the deeper. I feel bad for all the people who have wasted their time and traveled into these crowds. And I'm going to be honest, we haven't seen any crowd in this area. And I'm hearing all sorts of towns saying that they ain't seeing any crowds in their areas. Was this the biggest psyop of all the psyops that we've been dealing with here recently? I can promise you this. I'm done after this. I won't look at another date with any expectations ever again. With everything that has been surrounding this date, with all this symbology, with the planetary alignments, the Devil's Comet, NASA doing what they're doing, CERN doing what they're doing, National Guards, Biblical references, Sign of Jonah, Nineveh Towns, all of that, X marks the spot, XRP, XLM, XDC, SpaceX, Twitter X, all of it. If something doesn't happen here over the next couple weeks that can be directly correlated to this day, I'm done. You will never see me spread content about a date prediction ever again. And I hope all of the rest of us do the same. We know the things that are coming. But to do this ever again, to keep ourselves full of anxiety and worry or fear or curiosity or whatever it is, no. I will, I will disconnect from all of this. I know what matters. I know what the Great Awakening was about. It was about self-sovereignty. I have started to learn those skills. I am, I am growing my own food. I am learning to live off the land. I am connecting with nature and the Holy Spirit, the Most High, on a daily basis. I don't care anymore about this psyop. I don't care anymore about this revelation script. I don't care. I don't care if the sky opens up. I don't care if the earth opens up. I don't care if aliens come. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care care. I'm tired of going all the way up and getting excited for something. Because see, I get excited. See, I don't do any of this out of fear. I get excited because I know that good wins in the end. I know that love has already won. I'm trying to get there. I'm trying to get through this. I don't care about any of this. This doesn't mean anything to me. The collapse means nothing. I'm ready for it. I embrace it. Bring it on. The old world, toxic, evil, usury. I don't care about that. I don't care about making America great again. What the fuck does that even mean, people? Okay? I'm ready for the collapse of the B system 
in totality. There's that word for you. But this shit, this, what we keep dealing with, them taking our light from us, them taking our energy from us by doing all this, done. This, all this attention around this day, now listen, I'm not saying nothing's going to happen, but I'm saying I'm done worrying about it. I'm done trying to guess and decode and predict because I'm tired of being let down. I truly am. I'm tired of being let down. Whenever ha whatever happens, happens. It's going to happen. I have prepared spiritually. I have prepared physically. And I have prepared, prepared sovereignly. That's all you can do. You guys want to continue to go down these rabbit holes? Remember what we went through back in September? With all those alignments. I just want to point that out because see, I'm willing to eat crow. I'm willing to admit when I've been fooled. When I've been hyped up for no reason. I'll admit it. September was a joke. Remember the emergency broadcast system day? That was a joke. December 21st, the Great Conjunction. Now, I'm not saying the Great Conjunction. Oh, I'm sure the Great Conjunction pops and things off. I don't doubt about it at all. But too many people are expecting it to be the end day or the rapture day, the ascension day, the return of Christ day, the, the collapse day, the hit the button, the shift, the 5D, whatever it is you're into. That is what I'm done. I'm done chasing that day. I don't care how many signs we get. I don't care because there cannot be a day more symbolic than what today is. With everything that's surrounded it, if something isn't connected to today, then let it all go, guys. Let it all go. Come together with other people and just start the rebuild. Stop waiting for an event and just start rebuilding. That's what you need to do. That's my advice to you from my heart. That is what the universe is telling me right now. That is what source. So that, yeah, got, got paused there. So that's what source is telling me. After today, stop. D d leave it all alone. Get away from it all. Get with, your, get, with, get with your tribe and just start living. Start living locally as a community and start being sovereign and let it all go. Let that system just... Because to me, that's the only way it's ever truly going to go away is if we just walk away from it. Walk away from it peacefully and just say no and be done. Anyway, guys, I'll continue to give updates. I'm, I hope I'm wrong. I, I really do. I hope that the sun is, you know, out and we can see this and that these skies clear up. You know, I'm doing my meditations. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm asking and I'm hoping thou shall receive because I'm asking. You know, I would like to see this. I'm here. I was put here for a reason. Um, and I, I know that, um, my family's here, so I know I was put here to be with them, but I, you know, I was excited like a lot of other people to see this and what they're doing in the skies right now. It really just, it frustrates me, but I'm going to stay in a place of love guys. I, I'm not, whatever. I've never seen an eclipse before and I'm not going to be worried about it today. I'll absorb the energies and the frequency, uh, and, and I'll go from there and that's what you should do too. Guys, let me know what's going on in your areas. If you're in another area of Path of Totality and you see this, this stuff going on in the sky with these planes and drones, let me know. I want to know more about uh, what's going on in your area, guys. I'll talk to you soon. I love you. Take care of yourself.